Moving to Tunisia now, where French President Emmanuel Macron has been received at Parliament. Macron says Paris aims to deepen economic and political cooperation with its former colony. And that he admires Tunisia's democratic development. Adnan Shouachi has more. The Tunisian Parliament convened a special plenary session for French President Emmanuel Macron. Over 200 MPs attended the event in Tunis. MPs have a vast responsibility to ensure that nothing has been undertaken in the last few years is weakened or overturned. The Arab world, the Maghreb, all the shores of the Mediterranean are watching you. They are watching you work and they need to see you succeed. Macron hailed Tunisia's democratic experience. He expressed admiration for the Tunisian president's call in August 2017 for equal rights between men and women in the country. France stands by Tunisia and supports its democratic transition. Tunisia is an example for a troubled region. The values and principles that Tunisians defend and their modern approach and view of women's rights are exceptional. The challenge which is yours today is to transform this cultural and democratic spring into a political, economic and social spring. Parliament Speaker Mohamed al Nasser paid tribute to France for supporting the North African state at all levels. We are grateful to France for its support to Tunisia. Together, we can build a bright future and ensure development and stability in the region. The speech of Emmanuel Macron in Bardo City was welcomed by Tunisian MPs from both ruling and opposition parties. All parliamentary blocs believe in win-win bilateral relations between Tunis and Paris. Adin Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis. Well, let's get you more on that now. CGTN's Adnan Chouachi joins me live from our studios in Tunis. Adnan, the two leaders have promised to work together in a number of areas. What are the main areas of cooperation? Tunisia and France want to increase cooperation in higher education, agriculture, scientific research, uh, tourism, uh, culture, and uh, uh, especially the, uh, the issue of security. Security is a real concern for Paris. Uh, this is why Macron insisted on this uh, topic. He said that the return of ISIL terrorists from conflict zones like Syria and Iraq is uh, a real threat to Tunisia, to the Mediterranean basin, but also to Europe. This is why Macron wants to work closely with Tunisia on cutting off uh, fin terrorist financing. He announced that from Tunis that uh, a, uh, inter an international conference will be held in April uh, on this topic. Well, talking about uh, security, Adnan, Libya has been a problem not only for the region but the entire world. Did they discuss how they can stabilize the country? The situation is in Libya and the escalation of the situation in Libya is a real threat to the whole region, as Macron said today and yesterday during his meetings with the president, with this parliament speaker and with Prime Minister Youssef Ashed. He said that France will support Tunisia and provide all the logistical support and Tunis and Paris will also increase the cooperation in the field of intelligence in order to to stop the return of uh, terror, the, 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 the entry of terrorists from Libya to uh, Tunisia. But his main concern is to stabilize the political situation but by supporting the UN peace initiative in Libya. He called for consensus building and also for dialogue between all uh, Libyans. Okay, Adnan Chouashi there in Tunis. Thank you very much for that update.